So we did this thing and we bought a, what we're calling a shabbin. Um, it's a shabby cabin and it's up in Minnesota and I think it's beautiful, but it needs a lot of love and flooring and basically it's a whole lot of nothing, but it will be when we're done with it. So today I'm down here in Nebraska where I live full time and I went to Menards and I bought one by 10 by eight pine boards and I am going to beat them up with a log chain and a hammer and whatever else I can find to just beat them up and rough them up and then I'm gonna take a um, belt sander and I'm gonna sand the edges and make it look old and rustic and then I think I'm gonna try and burn it and then I'm gonna stain it and seal it and then I will haul it up to Minnesota to our new shabin, and it will become our floor. It's the first step in making it an awesome off-grid living situation, and I'm pretty excited about it, so yeah. night I was able to distress and kind of beat up these boards with log chains I used an axe and a hammer and then I burnt it which was actually kind of fun and now today I'm gonna take this belt sander and sand all the edges down and then I'm gonna go try and find another stain um, I tried to stain a little bit last night just to see what it would look like and you can see right here this board is the one I tried and that's actually not the look I'm going for at all it looks just like more burnt wood. So see what I can come up with there. Uh, yeah, I think it'll turn out really pretty when I'm done with it. kind of show you how I belt sand and basically you can see I just take and knock down the edges okay so I got it all belt sanded down. You can see like all my edges that I 
broke down. Kind of just an extra step, but it's definitely worth taking. And now, I'm going to stain it with red oak. I originally bought, I think, Espresso, and it ended up being the same color as the burnt. So this is what the red oak will look like when it's done. So now that I am done staining with the red oak, just regular stain that I picked up at Menards. Nice, I'm very happy with the color. So now I'm gonna work on, I'm just gonna roll polyurethane onto it. Um, I went with satin because I don't like overly shiny, but that's personal preference, so. Gonna roll it on and then I'll probably come back and put another one or two, probably two more coats. So three total. Well, there it is. A beautiful shabin floor. You can see we started decorating kind of laying it out before we get up there but we're gonna load it up in the trailer and another month or so we'll go up there and install it <laughs>